One of the biggest shifts that the West Vancouver Memorial Library is making is with our technology. We embrace a broad definition of literacy, acknowledging that our youth need fluency not only in reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also in the evaluation and creation of uh, content that has images and sounds. So our uh, library staff have a huge role to play in helping our youth to learn how to navigate resources so that they find the best information, and also how to use technology to best communicate their work. Now when it comes to thinking about 21st century literacy and the kinds of technology that we're really implementing in the youth department, there are a few things that come to mind. The first is our Kindle lending program for youth. Uh, many libraries now have e-reader lending programs. Um, West End Memorial Library was one of the first to have a Kindle lending program. And I believe we're also one of the first now to have a Kindle lending program specifically for kids and teens. Another thing that we offer here in the youth department is our technology petting zoo for young people. Unlike petting zoos for adults, where really they're coming in to maybe try before they buy, we find that young people and families come in to try the content on these devices. And the content we've very carefully selected, we've scoured review journals and blogs and Twitter, um, and helping patrons select the content that they're going to purchase for their device is another big area that we're seeing a shift in. So the entire second floor of our library is essentially dedicated to youth. There's a few really distinct sort of special places uh, up here on the second floor. The first is our picture book area, or the picture book circle as we call it. Um, this is a space that does much more than just house our collections for young children. We really want caregivers and parents and families to feel at home here and play here and squeal here and, uh, and have a great time. So when it comes to shifting our program offerings towards encapsulating a lot of the 21st century literacies like collaboration and inquiry and content creation that really does start in the early years. Obviously when you get into the school ages, traditional library programs might be something like an author visit for 8 to 12 year olds, but we've also tried to shift that to be uh, more of an immersive, interactive, collaborative type of program. So while they get to spend time with a really great author, it's not them simply sitting back and, and hearing about the process. They're really engaging and making something creative. The uh, library has a 2011 through 2015 strategic plan and in the process of creating that plan we really looked at um, the team space and identified it as a priority. The current square footage was extremely small for uh, the size of the team population here in West Vancouver and also um, its proximity to the picture book area was really less than ideal because we have uh, teens and young children very close together. So we're really uh, delighted that the teens are going to be uh, moving into their own dedicated space. When I came sort of on board this project and I was really important to me that we have meaningful engagement with teens. They are really the ones who have driven this project from the beginning. We essentially um, went to our teen populations with no even real ideas of what we wanted that space to be. So the consultation process was very in-depth um, and it was very successful. So I think because the teens in our community are so busy and so engaged in other activities, when they come and volunteer at the library, they need it to be meaningful. They need it to have a value add to what it is they're trying to accomplish and their bigger goals. And we really see the youth department as a place to facilitate that, to give them meaningful engagement opportunities. So ultimately uh, what we want is for all youth to experience the library as this amazing place where they discover themselves and they discover the community around them throughout their lives. So we're looking to develop lifelong learners and youth that are engaged with their community.